right, we're here for the November Senior Showcase. I had to take the Donut Mobile to get over to our site today because we're not in the building. We're at the Vantage site to honor this month's Senior Showcase winner. So let's go find her. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How are you guys doing? Well, good morning. How are you guys doing today? Welcome. And uh, we're here for this month's Senior Showcase. I had to take the uh, Donut Mobile to get over here, but we're going to honor this month's winner, uh, Elizabeth Hilgeman. Elizabeth Hilgeman. Oh, there you are. When I, when I talk to your teachers and friends, uh, words they use to describe you, compassionate, uh, always willing to help others, uh, really caring for the school, DECA, your work in there, your work in Vantage, uh, your work in international studies with the Netherlands this year, uh, your smile, people commented that, but let's give her one more round of applause for exceptional work. I know you're highly involved with DECA. Talk to me a little bit about your role within DECA and some of the accomplishments that you've had. This year we've been implementing so many new things and we have a great officer team and it's just a really great club and something I'm really passionate about. Elizabeth is an incredibly talented DECA member. Uh, last year she qualified for the international competition in two events at state and then also made it to finals and that's incredibly difficult. Well, Elizabeth is honestly one of the best people I know because she's just so put together. Like anyone who talks to her, you get hit with this wall of just like, go, go, go. She's like a spitfire. You're involved with the International Studies program? My second year in International Studies and last year I was involved in the Russia program, which was really cool to see a whole different culture than my own. Uh, so you talk about your, you've got an eighth grade brother and what advice would you give him or all ninth graders right now to be successful at Minnetonka High School. Get involved in things at the high school because that's where you make friends and just really get immersed into that Minnetonka community because there's so many great people at this school. So what do you think you'll be known for? What legacy will you leave behind at Minnetonka High School? I mean, in 50 years, people at the school probably won't remember me, but I hope my classmates remember me as somebody who was always open and really kind to them and willing to talk about anything. Well, I would say Elizabeth shows that she's a leader through her actions every day in class. She really um, shows curiosity and interest in, in what we're doing, and even if it's difficult, uh, which a lot of the stuff we do in class can be, she really tries to overcome those obstacles and work through her problems with her classmates. She's just the kind of friend that you want to have in your lane at swimming. She's always really encouraging, and it's just really nice to see her after a long day of school, and she works really hard. The wild card question, if you could have lunch with any person, dead or alive, who would that person be and why? Henry Clay. Um, some of you may be familiar with him if you took AP US history, but I think he's just the coolest and like most underrated historical person ever because he developed all the great compromises that our young nation like faced. Uh, what are your plans for next year after Minnetonka High School? I've currently applied to seven colleges and they're actually all across the United States. I would like to pro go into business as I'm in Vantage and DECA and I'm looking into the field of marketing so I hope to somehow become a high-powered marketing kind of position. I'm driven and I look into the future a lot, so it's about looking into the future and seeing what steps can I do to get me where I want to be in the future.